Hey there everyone, Kitty Cat Addict here, aka the Cartoon Kitty, and today I'm back with the Star Bomb Day 2. Uh, Trick Star is the episode that we're watching today. And I think this one, I'm at the very start of the screen, it looks like it's gonna, it has balloons and stuff, so I'm guessing it's someone's birthday party. Uh, and the description that I read in the wiki said something about Star trying to prove a magician is real or something, so... Uh, this will probably be one of those funny filler episodes, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. And as always, you guys can get these on iTunes, um, help support the series, help support the creators and let them know, hey, we really love your stuff, that sort of thing. Hi, Echo. Do you want to say hi to the people? You want to say, you want to say hi? Hey, there she is. You haven't seen her in a while. Hello. Say hi. How about no? <laughs> no. Okay. There you go. Sorry for the distraction there. Now let's go ahead and get the episode started. Hurry up, Star. I don't want us to miss the cake. I don't know which flavor it is. I hope it's Hogberry. That's not a thing on Earth. Seriously? Oh, man, you guys are really messing out. That's, uh... I think I'll hold on to my gift until I see Sensei. Don't worry, Marco. There's some room left, right? Okay, so it's Sensei's birthday. Come on, I want to give him his birthday punches. Be careful. He knows Tang Su Do, sort of. Also, what kind of what kind of gift was that that Star brought in? That was so weird. So big. This is a henna tattoo, right? Yeah, Hannah, Jenna. I can do whatever name you you want. Oh, hey, That's so yeah, cool. You're sensational. Oh snap! No, <laughs> bad puns. Bad puns. Bad puns oh, for days. But you ain't seen nothing yet. The great Preston Changeo is performing. <laughs> Mr. Bush, Claudia, Preston Changeo comes. <laughs> <laughs> that face has become such a meme. It's so funny. Oh, Preston's not a magic user. He's an entertainer. He does magic tricks. Trouble at my party. I love Sensei. The meat speaks. Hello. You look like he looks kind of like a pilgrim, but he looks like something else too. Like a gremlin or a something. Just stick your head in my armpit there. <clears throat> Preston Chango! <laughs> Neat! Let's get closer. Hold your ball, Marco. That little guy is using magic. All right. Yeah, uh, I saw that. What was that? Like a soul. Oh, hi, Jeremy. There's a gap in one of those rings. I saw it on TV. Oh, you do magic, do you? You don't watch behind your ears. <laughs> your money. Hey, tell your mom I said hi. Does he like? Oh, does he like steal happy. their happiness or something? Oh, just kidding. It's a pencil. Oh, terrific. Preston Changeo. <gasps> what just happened? Did your hat just get bigger? You are magic. Yes, my dear. That's the nature of being a magician. And a good day to you. Marco, Preston's a real magician. He said so himself. It's a part of his act. This wasn't an act. Look at his act. Don't you see? It's taller. Look, Star, I get it. The first time I saw a party magician, I was pretty emotional, too. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go enjoy some birthday magic. Mr. Preston, would you do a magic trick for me? Of course I can, Jennifer. First, I'll need a... Don't <laughs> <three> Jennifer. <laughs> sure. Hey, uh, where's my wallet? Are you looking for this? Poof. It's your wallet. Oh, hey. Whoa, no way. It's the wallet from uh, the episode with Rastacore. Hey, 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 what was that? Why is Marco sad? Marco, why are you sad? I'm not sad. I merely performed a bit of sleight of hand, my dear. No way. You're a real magic user. Takes one to know what. I already told you. I'm a magician. What's happening? He did, he did, he did a trick. <laughs> and he did it. He did it. And half is big. Half. Sure. My mom hired Preston. Entertain us. He's just doing his job. I'm getting the sense that my magic act isn't welcome here. Oh, no, 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 no. We love it. Let's just bring your act over here. Star, it's not real. The point of Earth magic is to allow yourself to be entertained by pretending that it's real. 
just like love. What? Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, Jeremy, have you seen Sensei? Sensei, who cares? Nothing matters anymore. Breath and change out! It's terrifying. Wakey, wake, it's time for cake! Wait, no more magic? Not until after the cake. Then there'll be magic for everyone. Yay! <gasps> Stop right there, Preston! You're at the end of the line, mister! Fess up! You're doing something to these folks. Now tell me what it is! All right, okay, okay, you got me. Look, look, I'm not human, all right? I, I'm a joy sucker. A what? Oh, a yeah, I knew it. Sadly, I can't create my own joy. So I suck a bit of the joy from others when I perform my tricks. Think of it as, you know, taking their empties. You took a lot more than a little from Sensei just now. Yeah, but that dude really loves magic. <laughs> he had a lot to spare. You gotta go. But I have a party to entertain. You want the wand. Sensei's been on my wait list since he was a little boy. At least let him have the satisfaction of seeing my grand finale. I mean, his mom paid for me to be here. I, I kind of owe it to him. You're just gonna suck all their joy. Come on, look. My hat's full. I don't even have room for any more of their joy. Uh -huh. You don't want to ruin a guy's birthday, do you? I don't like this guy. All right, fine. Do your finale. But I'm watching you, little man. You start to suck joy, you get the wand. Also, the wand must be, like, universally known, because he freaked out when he saw it. Normally, you know, normally if, if you did that with to someone on Earth, they'd just be like, oh. She's very strong. That's one word for it. Ah, here comes the cake stick. How dare you even... Jacksepticeye turns 27 today. Because Sorry, I just thought about that. Oh, okay, so that's pre that's his mom. That's so terrifying, my gosh. What you doing, huh? What are you doing? Oh man. Hey, I tried to be nice. Tell him, Preston. Tell him the truth about your magic. Alright, alright, okay, fine. It's true. I don't do real magic. All my tricks are just that. Tricks. I did keep my cards up my sleeve. The rabbit I pull out of my hat. Paper. Oh man, spoiler alert. These blades aren't even sharp. What? I knew I didn't feel this member. <laughs> Not that! Uh, the joy sucking thing! Oh yeah, right. Well, I suck a little bit of joy from your heads every time I do my tricks. It's harmless, really. No! No, it's not! I think you broke Jeremy! <laughs> ah, come on. That kid had no joy in him to begin with. He's still That's true. It's their joy. It's theirs. <sighs> You're right. I, I'm sorry. It's what I do. I can't help myself. Oh. That girl just ruined our magic show! Wait, what? Me? No, but he was the one stealing your joy and making you sad! You just stole my joy forever by making him explain how his tricks are done! Never oh, no. Show again. oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Happy now. I'm a happy guy. You can have my joy. Oh, that's, that's really sad. Wait, 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 wait. This is a really good filler episode. That's sad. <laughs> I'm not sure it was worth ruining Sensei's birthday just to be right. What? No, you weren't right, Star. 
Preston's birthday magic was fake. Yeah, but I was right that Preston was magically sucking people's joy. Ah, uh, stop arguing, both of you. <clears throat> you did ruin my birthday magic show, okay? But you were right. That little guy was a creep. How do I know about it stealing my joy? <clears throat> By my next birthday, I'll forget any of this ever happened. And magic will be real again. But for now, I'm just gonna be bummed out. And it's okay! Glad I didn't get all my joy sucked, you know? Where is Preston, anyway? Oh, yeah, I uh, put him in the trunk. What? Weirdo. <gasps> no way. Disappear. I was right all along. <sighs> okay, then. All right, um, um, I, I, um, that was interesting. That was interesting. I, that was, it didn't feel like a filler episode, but it was, but man, the writing has gotten so much better from season one and even like the rest of season two. Like it's, it's gotten better. This was like, I think this is my favorite filler episode of this season. Of both seasons, actually. It's, it, it was cohere, it was cohesive. It had a plot. It had good characters, good, good story. And then you're left with a little bit of a mystery at the end. Like, is he going to come back or is it just supposed to end there? Like, he was actually magical. He poofed and disappeared. I, Wow. Give a hand to the writers. That was that was that was well done. Well done. Oh wow. I actually I wasn't sure if I was gonna upload this episode because I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be a filler and really boring and stuff. But no, I actually this was really good. And obviously my prediction was completely wrong, but most of my predictions uh probably will be. Actually most of them are, because I read some of the titles and I was like, okay. But I had already put some a lot of work into that video, so I was just like, whatever, I'll just upload it. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, doing pretty good. Episode 1 and episode 2 for the Star Bomb has been great so far, so let's see if they can keep the trend with episode 3. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, leave a like down below, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see all you guys in the next episode that we do around here. Peace, guys!